Gentlemen, today we're showing you 10 alpha male body language tricks. When you break it down, being alpha is about two things. One, showing other guys you're not threatened by them, and more importantly, two, showing girls that you're the real deal and not just another imitator to help you achieve alpha status. Today, we're showing you the top 10 alpha male body language tricks of a real modern alpha. And because we don't want your efforts to become more alpha backfire against you, we're also showing you the one way guys accidentally appear weak when they're trying to be more dominant. Alright, let's get into it. 10. Set the pace. The number of differences between alphas and non-alphas are many, but the first one alpha body language most people notice is always, always. The walk. When guys are nervous, it often shows up in a quick, short-stepping, frantic kind of walk. The type of walk that tells people, eh, see ya later, but not because they've got anywhere to be. Contrast that with the movement of the calm and unhurried alpha male, the guy who moves like the world runs on his schedule and like he's in control of time itself. Now before you start thinking, alright, all I've got to do is just make sure to walk slow and keep people waiting. Hold up, because the idea isn't just to move slow no matter what, it's to walk in a way that naturally gets people, including girls, to change their speed and match yours. See the difference? 9. Take the throne. Tell us if you haven't seen this before, guy sitting down, hunched over, shoulders shrugged to his ears, his chest sunken in, and possibly looking like there's something interesting happening on his phone. Kind of a familiar sight, right? Truth be told, most guys probably sit like that these days and don't even know it, which is too bad. Because that's the kind of posture that's way more likely to have girls wondering if everything is okay. Now look at our alpha, leaning back comfortably relaxed while maintaining the potential for conversation with anybody who wants to talk. He's mellow, he's considerate of others, but he also never fails to send the signals that show he's in his seat. Want to get in the alpha zone? Try getting comfortable with this classic alpha male body language position. Assuming you've got the space, cross your right ankle over your left knee, lean back, rest your arm up behind you, and watch the whole landscape change. 8. Open your chest. Along with not slouching in your seat, your grandma was spot on about one other big part of the alpha male body language, stand in the right way. If you look closely, dominant, unafraid guys all have a tendency to stand a certain way. And it's that posture that allows them to create a real, natural, commanding presence for themselves wherever they go. It's not threatening, it's not defensive, and it's not supposed to be aggressive. It's mostly just <coughs> open. Now, there are a lot of ways you can create a natural down for whatever stance, but there's one super useful trick to really make an account. As you're talking to people, or maybe even as you're walking, put your hands behind your back Without getting too scientific, a person's chest is one of the more vulnerable parts of the human body. So by placing your hands behind your back and grabbing your wrist with your other hand, you leave yourself open to anything and subconsciously show everyone that you're not registering any threats. See what that does. 7. Level the first impression. You've heard it before. A firm handshake speaks volumes on who you are as a man, even when it comes to women. But what a lot of guys don't get is that there's a lot more to a proper handshake than just squeezing the heck out of the other person's hand. While it's true, you don't want a lazy, wet noodle handshake, you also don't want to overcompensate by shaking too hard. Because as with any physical contact, the true way to show confidence is really by showing control. So real quick, here's how you master the shake. While looking the other guy or girl in the eye, extend your hand out and let them come to you. Grab their hand firmly. But again, be careful not to squeeze too hard. Shake no more than three times up and down. And while shaking, don't forget to smile. Oh, and be sure to say something. 6. Display control. Here we go. A big part of an alpha male body language trick is how alphas physically engage with other people. More specifically, how they physically engage with girls. Done right, touch is the ultimate demonstration of the three C's of a true alpha male confidence, chemistry, and comfort. Done wrong, and you could be sent straight to the, the jail block, or even worse, the beta block. But we get it. The reason a lot of guys don't touch girls is because they don't want to risk creeping out the, the girl they like. But the problem is, and the reason why touching works for alphas, is precisely because this involved, think about it, sure it's just touch, but there's a lot to get wrong. 
which a lot of guys do. So when a girl sees a guy who's perceptive enough to know how to touch her and how not to touch her, she also sees a guy with a good sense of how to deal with risk and how to handle her trust, wondering how you can safely incorporate touch like an alpha. Here are two ways to get you started. First, if you've talked to her before, go for a quick hug if you run into her again. Show her you're friendly. After that, follow her lead and mirror her touch if she touches you. 5. Style Amplification We know, not body language, but a big part of the alpha male body language is how your style stands out from the crowd. Notice that we said your style, not your friend's style, not a celebrity style. Your style, your style. This is important. Like body language, your style does a huge amount of talking for you, and we don't have to tell you. But yes, girls do pay attention to how you dress, so the importance of knowing what's in style can't be understated. But no one is only half the battle. What you do with that information is what matters, because where most guys learn about style in order to fit in, alphas use their style to stand out. Pretty important difference. As with everything alpha, style is all about being smart about it. Stray too far from the norm, and you might be too hard to relate to even be considered alpha. But on the other hand, if you always stay with the pack, you'll never get seen. 4. Message Consistency Being able to speak without saying anything is at the core of the alpha male body language. In fact, it might be this skill alone that makes girls respond to some guys so much more than others. As you know by now, Nonverbal communication is a huge turn-up. On for any girl, it's the basis for everything when it comes to flirting, and without it, it's an uphill battle no matter how awesome you are. Chemistry, comfort, even showing off your sense of humor all begin without you ever saying a word. Thankfully, the key to mastering nonverbal alpha male body language communication with a girl is simple because all you've got to do is match what you're expressing through your face with what you're actually thinking. Seems easy enough, right? Well, not so fast, because there are plenty of reasons why the expression on a guy's face might not reflect what he's thinking, and the one reason is because he's trying to appear confident when he's not actually feeling that confident. So, tying that back to being alpha, you can see why it's something they do. Because they're naturally confident, this part comes easy. Three. The no bluff buff. What's better looking strong or being strong? It might depend on who you ask, but if there's one that brings you closer to being alpha, one hundredths of the time, it's to actually be strong. What we mean when we say being strong is to have a body that truly has some power to it, instead of one that only looks like it and is the presence of real physical power, instead of just the appearance of it that makes any guy seem like the baddest dude in the room. So what should you focus on if you want real power? There may be nothing be more hotly debated, but any exercises that work your explosive power and ability to move heavy weights are guaranteed to make you look and feel alpha to guys and girls all day long. 2. The Challenge We've covered how alphas sit, how they walk, and how they speak without saying a word. Now, let's talk about how they do eye contact. Eye contact? Haven't we talked about that enough by now? Not quite, because this time we're going to show you why alphas are masters of eye contact while other guys tend to struggle with it more. And it all starts with a little old thing called the fight or flight response of the fight or flight response. You've probably heard of it, but what you might not be aware of is exactly how heavily this instinct plays into every single interaction you have, including eye contact, you have eye contact. As you can probably guess, alpha males are better about not fleeing from the first sign of eye contact from a girl. And it's that instinct to hold their gaze for a second and acknowledge eye contact from a girl that gives them a leg up. 1. The proof An alpha can't be an alpha without being a leader, right? Well, that's true, but the dynamics are actually way more complicated than that. Because while plenty of guys know they should try to take on a leadership role, Alphas are special in that they're automatically perceived to be the leader by the group. It's almost like gravity. They couldn't not be the leader if they tried. It's just a natural role for them. It's just like it's natural for people around them to have no problem yielding to that leadership. Now this brings us to a common question. What if a non-alpha wants to be the leader around the alpha? Well, the only thing to do is to fake it till you make it. 
instead fade into the background, you've got to come to the forefront of any situation. A classroom, your office, an event, whatever. Just putting yourself out there and making yourself known will quickly change the minds of those around you and will eventually transform you into the alpha yourself. And finally, here's the wrong thing guys do to show that they might actually be a beta male. While there are many giveaways that a guy might be a beta, the number one thing by far is negativity. Now there's a difference between expressing some dissatisfaction and living in negativity. Where an alpha rolls with the punches, a beta tends to blame the world for his problems. Complaining about how bad his life is and always making excuses for why he has it rough. An alpha, however, has a natural aversion to saltiness and instead of defensively trashing other guys, speaks as highly of others as he may think highly of himself.